Hi everyone. My name is Shannon Pizzetta, celebrity makeup artist. Today I'm going to be creating a fun, clean, fresh look for you that takes your look from home to the grocery store. And we're going to be focusing on the eyes and creating a clean, fresh look. And first, I'm going to go over some of the products that we're going to be using. I'm going to be using this new Clean Fresh Prep Set Water Mist Rose. Love this. We're going to be using this new Clean Fresh CoverGirl Foundation. This is a lightweight foundation sheer coverage. We're going to be using the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. We're going to be using, I love these, these cream blushes. They're so amazing. They come in four different colors. I'm such a fan of cream blush. Super excited to show you guys how to use this. And we're going to be using this highlighter stick. This I'm obsessed with. This is a lip oil tinted lip oil can't wait to show you this also this covergirl liquid eyeshadow which i use this on my clients all the time it's like my go-to favorite these are really nice and they're amazing mascara and this blush palette those of you that are just tuning in my name is shannon pizzetta celebrity makeup artist um, I'm here in Los Angeles, California. Hope you guys are home well and safe. Super excited to create this look. Clean, fresh beauty look with pop eyes. Because I feel like it's going to be all about the eyes this year. That's just what I'm feeling. And yeah. So, let's get started. Hope everyone's well. Love you guys. Okay. First, we are going to start with the Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. When creating a look, you have to prep the skin. When you're creating any makeup look, it's very important. Prepping the skin is like the most important thing to do before doing makeup. It's, it sets the tone, basically. So, I love these new clean fresh um, prep and sit water mist they have two other kinds citrus and cucumber and they're exclusive at Ulta so let's, I'm like kind of obsessed with these I'm gonna be using a lot mmm smells so good and it's so refreshing and like when your skin is hydrated it's way more plump and these are also great to like carry in your purse, touch up with, well not touch up, but like refresh with, that's what I mean. And they're great for men too. So we're gonna do that. And then I like to like pack it in like this. And you guys, I have like no makeup on. I mean, I have my brows on cause I'm literally, <laughs> we're not ready for that yet with the no brows. I just can't do that. I mean, you ladies know what I'm talking about. Pack it in, pack it in. Make sure your hands are nice and clean. That's a must. So next we're gonna do the foundation. This foundation is Skin Milk. It's a sheer coverage foundation. I love sheer coverage foundation the look that we're doing today is like my favorite look i love a natural face with a pop eye that's like my favorite look to do um and the great thing about these products is that they're super pigmented so you don't need a lot so i'm going to show you how to apply this foundation and they have several colors they actually have 13 colors so there's colors for everybody so I like to put things on the back of my hand, like this. 
And then I use my fingers a lot too. I take like a little this. And I just put dots all over like this. So like that. And then I'll take the brush and I just fan it out. Like so. this fan it out you can see it's this foundation is so nice they sent me these products covergirl also thank you covergirl for having me on here so fun they sent me these products like a week ago and i've been playing with them all week and i'm obsessed with these products the clean and is also also cruelty free and vegan clean I'm all about clean. I think we're all about clean right now. <laughs> so, once you put it all over your face, if you feel that you need to like go back in and you want to add a little bit more coverage to certain places, what I like to do is just take a little bit more. Those of you just tuning in, hello, welcome to Lunch and Learn. So take a little bit more, and I just kind of dab in the area that I want to add a little bit more coverage to. Like so. It's so like... It feels so good too, this foundation. Feels great on the skin, very light. Not heavy at all, perfect for going to your boyfriend's house, your girlfriend's house. It's like the perfect foundation to like look like you're not wearing makeup, but you're wearing makeup. So, when you're creating like a clean, fresh beauty look, I feel like a lot of blending needs to go into play. So there we go. Let's take a closer look. So once you have your foundation on, I like to go in with a concealer. And I love these CoverGirl True Blend, True Blend concealers because they're super pigmented. And you only need a little bit. A little bit goes such a long way. You don't need to cover your whole face with it. Like literally little drops. And they blend so beautifully into the skin. So what I'd like to do is take a little dot. This is the True Blend Concealer. And they have, how many colors do they have? I have it somewhere. Sorry, you guys. I have notes. They have 30 colors. You know, I want to make sure I give you guys all the information. So then I like to take a, like, a brush like this. And I like to just diffuse it out. Like this. And I believe, like, when you're creating a clean, fresh look... Having a very light touch is important. Not to be heavy. And then I like to take a little bit and put it on the lid a little. I don't know my hands. This is like a little bit of a primer for the lid as well. Love you guys. Like that. Then you kind of just like diffuse it out. All about blending. Blending, blend, blend, blend. Blend. I like to pat it in so you can see I mean yes cover girl these concealers are seriously amazing they boom so you can just see the difference I'll go up close so you guys can see okay next let's blend this one out 
a little bit on the lid as well. Blend, soft touch. I would love to see you guys recreate this look as well. You can use the hashtag CoverGirl made and you can at CoverGirl and at me too. Like this. And of course, a little trick that I love to do with um, concealer, and this is so perfect for this, is of course I would have a pimple. You know, the day that I'm going to go live, it pops up. So I'm going to show you how to like, you can cover a mark without looking totally like you have a ton of makeup on by just taking, using your sheer cover foundation and then just going in to cover up little spots with the concealer. And the way I like to cover up a spot is I just like to take my finger and kind of pat like this. Just on that little mark. Let's see. Hi everyone. Hi from India. Let me look at some. Hello in Brazil. Oh, thank you. So just a little. Like this. Um, this concealer is good for all skin tones and types. They have 13, no, actually, they have 30 shades of concealer. CoverGirl is cruelty free. Yes, vegan and cruelty free. That's what I love about this line. This line is um, cruelty free, the clean, fresh line, and it's really amazing. And just like this. Pat, pat, pat. So, there you have it. That is like my... So now that we have the palette, um... And it's all, we created our palette. We're gonna add some color because I believe when you wear a foundation and you put concealer on, you kind of like take the color out. So we are going to add the color, my favorite part. Let me just read some of you guys' comments. Yes, your favorite concealer. I love that. It's mine too. Yes, cream blush, my favorite. I love cream blush. Hey, Cynthia. I know you love cream blush, too. Oh, yes, the lip oil is everything. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, let's get into it. All right, I'm getting all excited. I'm just, like, so excited about cream blush. Anybody that knows me as a makeup artist or that is my friend knows that I'm, like, a cream blush, like, Yes, cream blush. Because it just gives you like the perfect healthy glow without looking overdone. And I know a lot of people are scared about using cream blush because it's like, what? Like, how do I use it? It's cream. Well, I like to use it two different ways. I'm going to show you how to use it with your finger and with the brush. I personally like to use my fingers. I like to put all my makeup on with my fingers. Of course, with my clients, I use brushes, but I use my fingers too. And the reason why I like to do that, because it kind of like warms up the product and it makes it easy to, easier to apply. So, I love these cream blushes. They're super pigmented, so you don't need a ton. So, that's probably even too much, but I just want you guys to see. And they have this beautiful sheen to them. I love it. So, I'm just going to show you. So creamy, so beautiful. Okay. 
I mean, I've been obsessed with all these products. So, here we go. So, I'm gonna just pat it right on. How I like to apply cream blush, I like to apply it on the apples of the cheeks. I believe it gives you a youthful, healthy glow. And I mean, I'm all about health right now. So I like to apply it just like that. This is the shade is Sweet Innocent. They actually have four shades of cream blush and this is Sweet Innocent. The colors that I suggest, like darker skin tones, I would suggest Flushed is beautiful. And I would suggest Ripe and Ready for darker skin tones. Flushed is more like if you peachy tones, ripe and ready is kind of like this version that I'm doing, but just darker skin tones. So you can just see, like, look how beautiful that is, guys. Like, so this side, I'm going to show you guys how to use your finger when you're applying cream blush. On the other side, I'm going to show you how to use a brush. Me, personally, I like to use my finger because you can just really blend it in just like this. I mean, come on. Okay, so now we're going to try the brush. So basically, don't be scared of cream blush, seriously. I mean, it's just makeup. You can take it off. But I'm telling you, once you try cream blush, this cream blush, you're not going back to anything else. Because you don't even sometimes need to like it's perfect. You can go to the gym with cream blush on, to the beach. So then you just go right on the apples of the cheeks like that. Just like this and just make it up. Again, I need to use my fingers. That's just like what I like to do. I even like to put a little bit down the nose, just that, just to bring in color to the face. A little bit on the lid, just bring in the color color a little bit the forehead you know it just gives that healthy glow that we're all looking for let me go close so you guys can see okay okay now once we have our cream blush healthy glow let me take this like foundation off my lips take this off right on the lip line okay let me read some okay so once we do that if you want to like pop your clean fresh look we are going to go in with these new cover girl what happened to their color these new CoverGirl, um, okay, I'm missing one of my colors, you guys. I, it's supposed to be opal, but I'm not seeing it. What was the color I was going to do? Opal Dreams, but I'm not seeing Opal Dreams right here. I must have dropped it, but it's okay, because we're going to try another color. This color is, what is it called? transparent yes I do have notes guys so all right this is like a highlighter this color is actually really good for darker skin tones but I'm gonna put it on me we're just gonna see what it looks like it works too perfect it's a nice highlighter so what I like to do with these highlighter glow sticks, um, they, they're cooling too. They feel so good on the face. Um, I like to put them in all the high points, like your cheekbones, your brow bone, your lid, just like this. Mmm, smells good. Just a little bit like this, eyelid, brow bone, and this helps like pop everything out. 
Ooh, I actually like this color for my skin tone too. It warms me up. Yes, cover girl. This line is cruelty free and vegan. The new clean fresh line. Okay. So there you have it. That is like um my skin. And okay, so let me just pat this a little bit, diffuse this out. I'm a perfectionist. Sorry guys, let me fix this. Hope everybody's doing great, staying safe at home. In this look, you can, again, it's like perfect to go to your man's house, your girlfriend's house. It's the clean, fresh look, the no makeup look. Okay. Now we're gonna add like my favorite, 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 favorite product, the Tinted Lip Oil in Sweet in Innocence. They have four colors. This is one of the colors. They have a color for every skin tone. Um, they, these are amazing. I mean, tint, first of all, I'm such a fan of like tinted stuff. I love a flesh tone lip. It's my favorite. It's such a healthy, just makes your lips look healthy and juicy. Um, this color is quench, 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 and it really does quench. Um, yeah, I'm obsessed with these. I have been wearing this all week, obsessed. They just make your lips look so, like, juicy. So, I'm going to show you guys this magic. Um, my lips are so dry, I'm so thankful to put this on. So what I like to do is put it all over the lips and really press it in. And then I like to take it again and I like to go right on the lip line. Like so. Like so. Guys, these are amazing. They feel so good. And they smell so good. My fave. Mmm. Wow. See? Juicy. I love these. My favorite. These are the Tinted Lip Oil. This is Quench, the color that I'm wearing. See, it just gives that perfect, like, glow okay okay let's get into the eyes because I feel like the eyes are gonna be the main focus this year I really do um, so let's start with this palette right here beautiful peach palette peach punched that's what it is so I'm going to create like a sultry peach look and then I'm going to do add a pop of these liquid eyeshadow. These are amazing. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go in with this kind of like this brown color. I'm going to like mix these two colors together. Okay. And then I'm just going to go right on the lid, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And again, light touch, guys. I, to, I, I believe to achieve a clean, fresh beauty look is just having a light touch to your makeup. Just more than maybe normal. And you don't need a ton of products. It's so great. CoverGirl's pigments are so beautiful that you just don't need a ton of product to achieve this look. So I like to do that. And then I like to take, I'm going to take this peach color right here. And I'm going to just blend it out and up. Like this. 
And I will be going to the grocery store like this today. Like this, blend up. Everything is about blending, light strokes. Brighten that crease, blend up. There we go. Blend, blend, blend. It's all about blending. Hi, everyone. Just say hello to everybody. Good girl. Hello, Brazil in the house. Yes, Jamaica. Boom. So there we go. I'm going to add just a little bit on the corners right here to darken it up a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> I don't suggest doing that when you're doing like clients, but for yourself, you know. Okay. There we go. Blend, a lot of blending. Blend, blend, blends. Okay. I would love to see you guys recreate these looks. Or this look, sorry. Recreate this look. Just clean, fresh with a pop eye. And you can tag CoverGirl and hashtag CoverGirlMade and at me too because I want to see you create this look. And seriously, you guys, these products are amazing. Cruelty-free, vegan, lightweight with pigment. They feel good. They smell good. I love them. Okay, so now we are going to add, after we did that, um, this beautiful liquid eyeshadow. I love these. I use these on my clients all the time. The thing I love about these is that they have their glitter but they're not messy like you don't have glitter all over the place super easy to use super pigmented um you can even see like the pigment and then so what i like to do is put it on the back i use my hand a lot it's my palette warm stuff up so what i like to do is this and then i just like to go right on the lid and kind of bring it up and out. Up and out. Up and out, up and out. All about blending, guys. Blend, blend, blend. You know, I just want a little bit more because I'm just feeling it today. Let's really just pop it on there. A little bit more. Um, 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 um. Make that lid pop. Just like that. Then I'll add a little of my finger. Blend it up. Because I'm going to be fabulous at the grocery store. Like this. And then other side. A little bit like this. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, 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 pat. Then take the finger and blend up. And then if you want to just add a little bit of glimmer in the corner of your eyes as well. A little bit there in the corners. Really get that look going. So, and then I'm just going to take whatever is left here and just kind of just dust my little brush in here and just kind of just bring it all the way up because I'm feeling the glitter and it just looks so pretty. You can see like, I absolutely love these liquid eyeshadows and look, I don't even have glitter on my face anywhere and I have a glitter eye. You know, when you use glitter, it's like usually everywhere. But these are amazing. Okay. 
This shade is, it says number five on it. Number five. There you go. Let me just get a close look. They come in other shades too. I actually have this one. I have them all. I'm obsessed with these. This is shade number eight. Okay. Favorite celebrity look in 2020? I mean, of course, I'm going to have to say, oh, in 2020, I'm going to have to say my client, Marseille Martin. Um, what was our favorite look? I feel like the, I did like a polka dot eye on her. I believe that was in this year. I mean, I'm all jumbled up, guys. I don't know what day it is, what year it is. Well, I'm 2020, but I don't know what day it is. Um, so yeah, that's our eye. I'm actually gonna go in again and just put a little bit right on the lid. Like this. So there we go. Oh my gosh, I love this blush. It's so beautiful. CoverGirl, you did your thing with this blush and this lip oil. These two, baby, are my favorite. Okay, so we're going to apply some mascara. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Let me just say hello to everyone. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Okay, so... I know, I love that you can use your hands. Um, using your hands just, you know, brushes are good, but as long as your hands are clean, it just warms the product and easy to play with. So we're going to do a mascara. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Um, before I apply the mascara. Mm, okay. So the mascara that we're going to be using is CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. What I love about this mascara, it does exactly what it says, volumizes. Also, it doesn't flake or clump. So it's really, really a great mascara. I use this all the time also on my clients and myself. So when you're applying mascara, I like to go right to the lash line, the root of the lash line, and just... Go back and forth and up, back and forth and up, back and forth and up, back and forth and up. And then I like to just hit the, the lashes. Lovely. And so to bring out that corner, I like to just take the mascara at the end and just bring it out like this to really pop them corners and then the corner inside I like to do this and then just strokes like that okay and then for the bottom lash same thing the, oops I made a little boo boo okay down down back and forth and down Okay, so I made a little mistake, which we all do sometimes. And I just take a little wipe, wipe underneath. What a pain in the butt that when you do your makeup and it's like all done and then you put mascara on and you get it all over your face. So what a pain in the ass, especially, oh, excuse my language, especially when you are um, in a rush not that I'm in a rush I have actually nowhere to go but then I'm going to go back in with the concealer just to fix that like this okay and up 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 okay there we go all right, let's do the other side. Okay, back and forth and up. Flip it 
love. I love this mascara. The perfect, oh, see, I got a little bit right there. So back and forth and up, back and forth and up, close to the lash line, then bring out that corner with the end. Okay, bring out them corners with the end. I love mascara, I'm like obsessed. And then down like this. Okay. And I like to go in a I do this a couple times, like just go over it to get it right. And I made a little, another little mistake, a little bit right here. Clean up. It's good to have like a little wet wipe handy for when you make these little mistakes. And then I go right back in with the concealer that was already on my brush and just clean it up like this. Okay, I feel like the look is done, but you know, I just wanna add more of this lip oil because I'm so obsessed with it. And just really get it on there. Oh, it smells so good. Thank you, CoverGirl, for making this product. It's, look at this, guys. And again, they have three other colors besides this one for darker skin tones. The other color that I suggest for darker skin tones is Ripe and Ready. Yes, I'm reading my notes. And butter, Butterflies. Um... Okay, well I feel like that completes our look and I'm all ready for the grocery store. Um, um, does anyone have any questions? <laughs>